Hey guys, today I'm so excited for today's video because fall is probably my favorite time of the whole year. So obviously I wanted to do a fall inspired makeup look for you guys. I wanted to do a really warm, smoky-ish eye, not too smoky, but kind of smoky and a really pretty matte lip. So if you want to see how I did this makeup look, then just keep watching. Okay guys, I'm so excited about this makeup because I'm feeling so fall right now I have this little dress on and this type of little ruffles around the sleeves and the neck it's just like my best thing I love this dress so much it's from Urban I'll link it down below if you're interested but I just think it's so cute and it's really getting me in the fall mood so I'm really excited about this makeup tutorial <sighs> and the first thing I use today is this primer it's by Mac and it's called strobe cream and I think it feels really nice on my skin I've actually never used that primer before and then for my foundation today I'm gonna be mixing these two colors of the Too Faced Born This Way foundation I know I use this foundation too much but it really is my favorite and I just think nothing can beat it so I'm really trying to find a new foundation but I haven't found one that completely replaces that one yet but for brushes today I am going to be mentioning something new and I'm so excited to share this with you guys because I just think it's an awesome product and these brushes are by Vanity Planet and they come in a little set like this you open it up and then you have all of these brushes Pretty much every single brush you would ever need comes in this set and these brushes are such nice quality and they're vegan and cruelty free which I think is so important. I've been trying to be more conscious of just buying makeup that is cruelty free because I love animals and I need to be better at just buying cruelty free makeup because I think that that's so important. And this brush set's price is usually $100 but Vanity Planet was so nice and they're giving you all a coupon code and you can get 70% off. So this whole set is just going to be $30, which I think is just a huge steal. And I think this would be a great Christmas present for maybe one of your friends or family members that's starting out in makeup and needs a bunch of brushes. Or if you just want to add some really good brushes to your set, I think that this would be a great thing to buy. I love the handles of them. I'm like a sucker for wood. So I love this packaging and I just love them so much. And to start off, I'm going to be using this little buffer brush. So I'm going to be putting a little bit of the shade Nude on my brush and then a little bit of the shade Warm Beige on my brush. And then I just dot it all over my face. It kind of just mixes itself together and then I'm just going to be buffing that in. I actually just got back in town. I was in Orlando for the weekend because I had to go home to look at different wedding venues and I went home hoping that I would find a wedding dress. And I did find a wedding dress and I found a venue and I found a date all this weekend so I got so much done this weekend and I'm so happy because I just felt like those were the three things that I really needed to get done because time is really running out really fast. I can't believe I graduate in December. That's so crazy. So I'm so excited, but I traveled home with these brushes and it was just so nice to have all your brushes in one little set and they never got messed up because they're in a perfect little case. So I think that these are really good brushes for traveling too. And then for concealer today, I'm also using a product that I haven't showed you guys on camera yet, but I've been using it a ton and it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And this thing has been so hyped on YouTube, so I went to Ulta to see if they had it. They didn't, so I had to order it online, but I've really been liking it. It is super full coverage. I have the shade Light Neutral, and so I just put the tiniest, tiniest bit around my nose and around my eyes, and it really is super full coverage. It really, wow, it covers a lot. And I'm just going to be taking my Beauty Blender and blending that all out. But anyways, I'm so excited that I found my wedding dress. Um, it's so perfect. It's everything that I ever, ever dreamed of in a wedding dress. And I was getting so nervous because I was like, I don't know if I'm going to find a wedding dress because I had such a specific idea in mind of what I wanted. And I walked right into this store and I showed the lady some pictures of the one that I wanted. And she was like, oh, we have that exact dress that you want. And I tried it on, and I knew right away that it was my perfect dress. So I keep wanting to post 
pictures of my wedding dress show you guys but I know I can't do that because then Marcus would see it and that would be a big catastrophe and then for powder today I'm gonna be using this one by Paul and Joe I did a review on this whole brand in my last video so I'll link that below if you would like to see that but I'm not gonna be using the puff today because I want a little bit more precision so I'm gonna be using this little brush and dipping in to the powder to set my under eyes and this brush fits underneath your eyes so well because it has a little tip on it and then to set the rest of my face I'm going to take this big kabuki brush that comes in it and I'm going to dip that in there and tap off the excess and put that all over the rest of my face and these brushes feel so soft they probably are some of the softest brushes I've ever felt my softest other brush that I have is this huge IT Cosmetics one and they feel the exact same and this brush is like $60 or something insane so you're getting such a good deal with all of these brushes oh, I just love them so for bronzer today I'm gonna switch it up from my usual hula bronzer and I'm gonna use this hourglass one this is called the ambient lighting bronzer radiant bronze light and it's just this beautiful little bronzer and I'm gonna be taking it on this size brush from the little set and putting that all over my face I think bronzer really helps out every makeup look because I don't know why, maybe I have too light a foundation, but on camera, sometimes before I put on my bronzer, I look like a big ghost. So I just think every time I add bronzer in a video, it really helps out, makes me look a little bit more alive. I'm going to be using probably my favorite fall time blush, and it's Benefits Rockateur. It's such a pretty mauve pretty shimmery blush. I love it so much. I'm going to be taking it on the same brush that I used for bronzer and just put that on my cheeks. There's something really special about this blush and I feel like people on YouTube used to talk about it all the time. Now I feel like no one really talks about it anymore because they forgot about it but it's still such a good blush and I use it all the time especially in the fall because it's just such a perfect color. And then for my highlighter today I'm going to be using my favorite highlighter probably of all time this is Becca's champagne pop it's by my girl Jaclyn Hill and I'm gonna be using it on a highlighter brush that comes in this kit um but I love this highlighter so much I always think of, <laughs> this is really silly but I always think of just like DMing Jaclyn and being like can you do my makeup for my wedding because that would be my dream but I know she's way too busy to do my wedding makeup but I just think that that would be so amazing or even just to be her friend because she just seems so nice down to earth we both live in Florida it could happen and for the eyebrows today I'm going to be using this little angled brush that comes in the kit as well I actually just went home and got my eyebrows waxed so they're not looking way too wild so that's good Okay, so I'm going to start out by using the NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I love this one so much. One of you guys Snapchatted me and said, what is your all-time favorite, favorite eyeshadow primer so that my eyeshadow won't move at all throughout the day? And I was just immediately new. NARS Smudge Proof because it really is the only primer I've ever, ever used that keeps my eyeshadow looking on point all day. And also, I just realized this. You guys can see this cut on my lip that's from me and my best friend um playing cards last night and i tackled her because she won so then she accidentally elbowed me in the lip so that's what's on my lip right now so i'm just gonna take this big um flat brush it's really good for packing on just color on your lid and i'm gonna be taking this kylie shadow in the shade jasper and i'm just gonna put that all over my lids as a base for the rest of our eyeshadow and I've actually been using this palette so much. I did a review on this on my channel a few weeks or like a month ago. And I really have been using this palette ever since. So I'm going to start with the shade Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to use this blender brush. And I'm just going to put that in my crease. And even if you are doing a dark eye, just by doing a transition shade in the beginning, it really helps everything look super blended out so that you don't have any like weird lines in the end and it just helps the whole eyeshadow process be a lot easier. I'm going to take the shade Cocoa Bear by Makeup Geek and this is just a really pretty matte eyeshadow shade and I'm going to put a little bit of that on the brush and just put that all over my lid. 
every single time I do eyeshadow like this when I'm just getting ready for the day, I always get to this point and I'm like, oh my gosh, this looks so bad. But just trust me, it gets better really soon. I'm taking a little bit of grandstand on this little flat brush that also comes in the kit. Sprayed it with a little bit of Fix Plus just like that to make it a little bit more metallic. And I'm just going to take that on the center of my eyelid. And now I'm going to take the shade Tiger Eye in the Kylie palette. And I'm just going to run that through my crease so I can just blend everything out. And then I'm just going to take Tiger Eye on a little brush that also comes in the kit. It comes with a lot of brushes. So I'm just going to take this one and run it right underneath my lash line. And then last thing for my eyes, I'm just going to take a little bit of the shade Starry Eyed from Makeup Geek on this little smudger brush. And I'm going to put that on my inner corners. I'm not going to be using any um, mascara on my eyelashes because I do still have eyelash extensions even though they're looking pretty ugh because I haven't gotten them refilled in a while but I am going to be putting mascara on my lower lashes. So for lips I think I'm going to go a little bit bold and do Rooch from Colourpop or Rooch? Rooch. Yeah, it's Rooch. Huh. I think it's too dark. Uh, scared. I don't like it. I don't like it. So I'm actually going to do a combination that I've been wearing a lot lately and I think you guys will like it. It's Whirl by MAC on top of Kylie Cosmetics Candy K. So let me try that and see if I like that a little bit better. Over top I'm going to use Kylie Cosmetics Candy K. I always get confused. Coco K, Candy K, so many K's. But I really really like this color. It's a little bit lighter than the lip liner but I like it. I think it's a good combo. Okay guys, that is the final fall inspired makeup look. I am so happy that fall is here. I really hope that you guys check out these brushes. I think that it is an amazing deal to get all of these brushes for only $30. So again, I'll put the link down below if you are interested. I have a ton of really fun videos coming up for you guys. So make sure to subscribe and make sure to like this video if you did like it. I love you guys so much. I appreciate your support. I read all your comments and they all make me so happy and I never ever forget how lucky I am to have you guys supporting me. So I just love you guys so much and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!